In about 1800, a Swiss explorer named Bukart discovered an enchanted city surrounded by bandits. It was called Petra. To get there, the intrepid adventurer had to disguise himself as a Muslim and learn Arabic. Petra had its greatest population, a total of some 30,000 people, during a period of 200 years, including the century before and the century after Jesus. The city came into view like a carefully hidden treasure among the stone cliffs. The most common color in Petra is pink, that's its name, the Pink City. It's chameleon-like, changing colors as the day advances. I too change color, but that's down to the temperature. The inhabitants of ancient Petra were the Nabataeans. The Nabataeans resolved the scarcity of water by diverting the water of distant rivers to Petra through a series of canals, turning it into an oasis. After passing through the narrow gorge called the Seek, I'm left gaping in wonder at the al Kazne Forum, the Pharaoh's treasure. As an oasis city, Petra attracted people of numerous cultures, each of which left its mark. Thus, its architecture is Assyrian, Egyptian, Hellenic, and Roman. But as so often happens, when commercial routes were diverted to the city of Palmyra, the dream of the pink city came to an end. Petra began to decline from that time on. I have to go. From the airplane, the Wadi Rum Desert is like a lunar landscape. Maybe that's why its name means Valley of the Moon.